Today is called Good Friday. What a crazy name, especially when you consider what happened on that day. And can you believe that our Armenian apostolic tradition, we even call it Great Friday, Avak Urpat. So what's so good or great about this day? This day we commemorate the sufferings and crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, hardly sounds good, does it? Maybe not in terms of how we would use the word. Instead, maybe we should try to understand that what Jesus accomplished by suffering and dying on the cross was indeed great, significant, impactful. You see, in dying, he brought us life. And so begins a list of many paradoxical questions, mysteries, if you will, that our church fathers contemplate in their writings about this day. How can God, who is without beginning, meet such a tragic end? How can the one who gave life to the entire world give up his own in death? How can he who sits at the right hand of God be buried lifeless in a tomb? This is some of the heavy stuff we contemplate on Good Friday. But the answer from scripture is actually quite clear. Christ died in order to destroy death. He was raised from the dead to give us hope of resurrection. In the Armenian Apostolic Church, we gather three times on Good Friday. First, for the night vigil, in which we remember Christ's betrayal and sufferings. Then around mid-morning for a service of hymns and readings dealing with his crucifixion and death. And the third is for evening vespers, during which we remember his removal from the cross and his burial. It's customary during this last service to decorate a tomb with beautiful flowers, candles, and other religious artifacts. Those in attendance receive a flower from the decorated tomb to bring to their home. It's kind of a wacky day emotionally for Armenian Christians, as we see Jesus suffering and dying on the cross while his disciples and his mother look on helplessly. But we know that he's been raised from the dead, reigning forever in the Father's heavenly kingdom, so at least we've got that. All kidding aside, it's a great reminder for us of how much Christ loves us that he would give up his own life, showing the love of God until the very end. Good Friday, for good reason, has long been and will continue to be at the heart of what Holy Week means for us year after year.